It's time for spelling analysis, and it's time to continue to apply the phonograms in the rules that we've been learning. The first word is slither. I saw a snake slither across the grass. Slither. Go ahead and say slither. How many syllables in slither? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell slither. What will we say to spell? Slither. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is slither. The second syllable is er. Er. Use the er of her. Go ahead and write sliv er. Sounding it out as you write it. Good. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is sliv. The second syllable is er. Er. Let's write, uh, let's mark it. We'll underline the v. What sound does th do you hear? That's right, it's the second. The second, and we'll underline the er. Let's read it. Slither. Slither. The next word is yawn. I saw her yawn really big because she's tired. Yawn. Go ahead and say yawn. And let's sound it out. Ya, aw, two letter aw that you may use at the end of English words. N. Go ahead and write yawn. Yep, it's spelled just like it sounds. And help me to write it. Ya, aw, n. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the aw. Let's read it. Ya, aw, n. Yawn. The next word is mutter. I heard her mutter, but I didn't hear what she said. Mutter. Go ahead and say mutter. All right, how many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell mut ter. What will we say to spell? Mut ter. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is mut. M a t. The second syllable is ter. T er. Use the er of her. Go ahead and write mut ter. Good. And help me to write it. The first syllable is mut. M a t. The second syllable is ter, t, er. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the er. Let's read it. M, a, t, t, er, mutter. Now, you probably heard me say mutter. And many people will say mutter instead of mutter. Why is that? Well, let's compare the sounds t and d. T, d. Do you see how your uh, tongue is in the exact same place for t? And d. What is the difference? T, d. That's right, they're a voiced and unvoiced pair. And this sound, uh, is voiced, and this sound, er, uh, and er are voiced. So to say mutter, you have to be very careful. And if you just blend it quickly, you might not turn off your voice box for the t, mutter, and instead say mutter. So that's why you'll sometimes hear some differences in how people pronounce things. The next word is spread. I will spread the jam on my toast. Spread. Go ahead and say spread. And let's sound it out. S, p, er, a, eh, use an e, a, eh, a, d. Go ahead and write spread. Great. And now help me to write it. S, p, er, a, eh, D. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the e. What sound of e, e, a do we hear in spread? That's right, the second. So let's read it. S, p, er, e, d, spread. The next word is plummet. The rock will plummet off the cliff if we're not careful. Plummet. Go ahead and say plummet. How many syllables in plummet? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell plum, met. What will we say to spell? Plum, met. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is plum. P, l, a, m. The second syllable is met. M, e, t. Go ahead and write plum, met. Sound it out as you write it. Good. And help me to write it. The first syllable is plum. P, l, a, m. The second syllable is met. M, e, t. Let's read it. P, 
Ul, a, m, m, et, plummet. Excellent. The next word is claw. The claw on the cat is very long. Claw. Go ahead and say claw. Let's sound it out. K, ul, a. Which kind of a? That's right, a that you may use at the end of English words. Go ahead and write claw. Great, and help me to write it. K, ul, a. And how will you mark it? You'll underline the a. Let's read it. K, ul, a, claw. The next word is heal. I hope that will heal quickly. Heal, go ahead, go ahead and say heal. And let's sound it out. E, use an E at A, U. Got it? Go ahead and write heel. Great, and help me to write it. E, O. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the E. I have a question. Do you know a word that's related to this? It's this word. What if I add this to it? What do I get? I get health. What does the E at A say in health? E at health. That's right, it says it's second sound. And without it, it says heal. So notice they used the E at A because other words that are related will use other sounds. Let's read it. E O, heal. The next word is catapult. The young boys built a catapult. Catapult. Go ahead and say catapult. <laughs> it's kind of a fun word. How many syllables in catapult? Three. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, we will say to spell cat a pult. What will we say to spell? Cat a pult. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is cat. K. Use a k. -s. A t. The second syllable is a. A. The third syllable is pult. P. A. O. Go ahead and write cat a pult. As you write it, sound it out. Excellent. Help me to write it. First syllable is cat. K at. Second syllable is a. A. The third syllable is pult. P a pult. And how will we mark it? Put a line over the a. Why did it say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. Let's read it. K, A, T, A, P, O, U, T. Catapult. Notice we use the schwa sound there because any vowel may say a or I in an unstressed syllable. The next word is devour. The caterpillars will devour all the plants if we're not careful. Devour. Go ahead and say devour. How many syllables in devour? Hmm, hmm. Two, devour. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is D. We'll say to spell devour. What will we say to spell? Devour. The first syllable is D, D, E. The second syllable is vower. V, ow. Use an ow, o, u, 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 er. Go ahead and write devour. Excellent. Look how you're learning how to spell these words. The next, uh, help me to write it. The first syllable is D. D, E. The second syllable is vower. V, ow, er. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the E. And why did it say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the ow. Let's read it. D, E, V, ow, er. Devour. Excellent. The next word is sprint. The track team ran a sprint. Sprint. Go ahead and say sprint. Let's sound it out. S-p-r-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-i-
Do not peek. Peek. <laughs> Go ahead and say peek. Let's sound it out. P e, use an E double E. K, talk. Go ahead and write peek. Great, and help me to write it. P e, k. And how do we mark it? Well, underline the E. Let's read it. P e, k, peek. Why did I not use a two letter k? That's right, it's only used after a single short vowel. And here we have a long vowel and a multi-letter vowel. The next word is clutch. Um, the clutch on the car went out, or I need to clutch onto that hard to hold on to it. Clutch, go ahead and say clutch. Let's sound it out. K, use a k, s, u, a, ch. That's right, it's a three letter ch. Go ahead and write clutch. Excellent. And help me to write it. K -o -a -ch. And how do we mark it? Well, underline the ch. Let's read it. K -o -a -ch, clutch. And here it is. It's three letter ch, which is used only before a single short or broad vowel. And there it is before a short vowel. The next word is knock. Did you hear a knock on the door? Knock. Go ahead and say knock. And let's sound it out. N, two letter N that you may use only at the beginning of a base word. A, K, two letter K, that's right. Go ahead and write knock. Excellent, and help me to write it. N, A, K. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the n and the k. Let's read it. N a k knock. The next word is wonder. I wonder if that's a good idea. Wonder. Go ahead and say wonder. How many syllables? Hmm hmm. Two. Now before we sound out this word or say to spell, I have a question. Do you hear an a uh sound next to a w, t h m n or v? Wonder. That's right, it's next to a W and an N. We will say to spell, what? We will say to spell wander. You've got it. What will we say to spell? Wander. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is wan, wa, a, n. The second syllable is der, d, er. Use the er of her. Go ahead and write wander. Excellent. <laughs> Help me to write it. The first syllable is wan. Wa, a, n. The second syllable is der. D, er. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the er. Why did the o say a? Uh? O may say a uh next to a w, t, h, m, n, or v. Here it's next to a w and an n. Once again, those scribes didn't want so many up and down lines, so sometimes they used the letter o to write the sound a. Uh. Let's read it. Wonder. Wonder. The last word is look. Look how much you've learned. Look. Go ahead and say look. And let's sound it out. U -u, use an u -u o k talk. Go ahead and write look. Excellent. And help me to write it. U -u -k. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the u. -u. What sound of oo, uh, o oh, do you hear in look? That's right, the second. Let's read it. Oo, o uh, k, look. Great work today. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at essentials.logicofenglish.com.